Okay, boys and girls, this is another edition of The Angry Photographer. Uh, since we've already done this, and uh, it didn't really make things clear, since I got a lot of questions, it's going to do a lineup of all the major flashes, not all the way back to the dawn of time, but back to usability. In other words, if you buy a modern DSLR, whether it's FX or DX, you will still have the SB22 or 21 listed. This is an SB22 version. Okay, here we have SB26. First Nikon Speedlight to have complete wireless remote slave capabilities so you're able to plant these little nooks and crannies on a photo shoot. Use your pop-up flash on your DSLR, FX or DX in commander mode which starts at D7000 and above. And then remotely trigger your SB26 and above. Everything above SB26. Obviously I do not have an SB28 here. But the price is basically uh, about $30 more than SB26. Why not just get the SB26? There's nothing special about the SB28. So these are the three flashes. Current flash SB910 is a super deluxe model. Can't be had at a reasonable price used anywhere. $550 new unless there's an icon rebate going on. SB900, predecessor to that, had slight issues of overheating, but it wasn't overheating. It was uh, non upgradable firmware. Basically there's no difference other than a few minor button changes on the back between the SB900 and the SB910. They're both essentially the same flash. People started bitching about wedding photographers, especially about bitching about the flash not letting you take any more shots because it was overheating so Nikon fixed that but they really didn't change anything or improve it. They came out with the SB910. It's kind of like the same way Nikon fucked up with the D600 and they came out with the D610 because the D600 was squirting oil all over the uh, sensor. And uh, so does the C D610 still, by the way. <laughs> still have an issue. SB800, uh, even though it's a smaller flash than the 900 and 910, actually has greater output, not by much, than the 900 or the 910. And now the 900 could be had typically for about $350, $400 used, mint perfect working condition. SB800, $250, $300. Now the recommendation of all these three, if you need TTL, okay, on any modern DSLR, here's the breaking point, okay? Everything over here, you've got full TTL flash capability on your modern DSLR, FX, or DX. Everything below here, you don't. Obviously, I did not include the SB700, which is basically a cheapy turd. They're kind of notorious for breaking down. Nor did I include the SB600, which is the earlier predecessor to the cheapy turd SB700. So the 600, 700, sorry if you got it, but they're kind of unreliable turds. They're kind of infamous for breaking. All of these are made in Japan. They're all really high quality. Unless you treat them like a redheaded stepchild and drop kick them down, drop kick them off the curb, they will continue to last. I was using this SB26 back in photography school ages ago. We're talking basically two decades ago. This is still a honking ass flash. Now you can grab these used all day long, 60, 70, 80. Right now it seems like they're going for about 85, 90 bucks. Typically you can grab them for 60 bucks. Now all of these, every one here, can, if you're using a quantum pack, use this accessory port for powering the flash. Basically you're turning your flash into a machine gun. Instead of slow recycle time off your batteries, your battery you still needs your internal batteries to operate the actual electronics of the flash, but all this does is circumvent the capacitors. Uh, for uh, recycle time, which is so, so, so important on a photo shoot, and especially super, super important on a uh, on a wedding shoot. Uh, of course, a quantum pack, you're talking about three, four hundred dollars for the deluxe pack, the quantum turbo three, seven hundred dollars for that nickel metal hydride battery pack. It's a big honker, it's about yay big. Anyway, as I told you before, SB21 over here, all day long, grab it 20, 30 bucks, typically no more than 35 dollars. It's only got one design flaw, so the battery door is kind of easy to pop off. It's not hinged like the rest of these are. The rest of these have a hinge right here. You just take a piece of tape or Velcro there so your battery door doesn't come off. I, I, I've got three of these. I pack them in my pocket. You know, I've become a master. important thing to a great flash photographer. Get your shit 
off your camera all right get it off your camera sc29 or sc28 cable when it comes to the since you're not using ttl flash mode on your sc28 or 26 or 22 like this you don't have to have the super fancy sc29 but why not buy it because eventually you're going to get one of the more professional ttl flashes probably typically like the sb800 or the 900 or the 910 which is current model so why not just spend 10 extra dollars and get the SC29 flash cable instead of the SC28 or the older SC17, which is as old as this. We're talking two decades old. People see these crummy old flashes and they sell really cheap and nobody buys them. They're like, oh, it's an Icon Speedlight and it's made in Japan, but that's old shit. I mean, look at the back of that fucking thing. I mean, that's like Stone Age. It's like clay tablet technology. Fuck you, man. I mean, I will stick this on the top of any of my cameras. It will take you, as I told you in a prior video, it will take you half an hour to become a master of this bitch. All you do is stick it on A2. If you want full output power, say so your subject is 40 feet away, you stick it in M for full blast output. All you have to do is turn it on. You know what your shutter speed is. You will have memorized in half an hour where the fuck you need your f-stop at. Your shutter speed is going to be constant. You're going to throw your camera in manual. You're going to turn this on. Oh my god, that was so hard. I turned it on. Shit, that was difficult. Okay, then you're going to say my subject's 20 feet away or 40 or 6 feet away. You adjust your f-stop accordingly. All right, it's that simple. Take you half an hour to learn how to master this baby. You don't even have to read the instruction manual. And what's so cool about this 20 year old flash, it's actually a little older than that, is that you can hook up a quantum turbo pack to the front of this thing. I mean, that's amazing. Tilt head. With pop out wide angle. Awesome, huh? 20, 30 bucks. Why haven't you bought a couple of these off of eBay? What's wrong with you, you crack smoking hippie? Oh, well, that's old shit. I mean, that shit's no good. This flash is still listed in every current modern Nikon DSLR. Why? Because this old turd is still fucking awesome. Produce amazing results. You do not need TTL, okay? One of the secrets of flash photography is you don't need one of these bastards that has a manual, a user manual the size of a phone book with a thousand functions on it. I can produce bitch results and you can teach yourself how to use this thing. There's only the on button. Switch it on. Boom. Figure out where your f-stop needs to be because you're going to have a set shutter speed. Choose between 1 one twenty fifth or 1 250th. Once you figure that out, boom, the rest of it's easy. All right? So, here's your flashes. 30 bucks used all day long on the SC22. I mean the SB22. Buy a couple of these for Christ's sakes. At least buy one of them. First, cheap, totally wireless slave flash, the SB26. Okay, 60, 70 bucks. SB800, best flash for the money out of all these three. If you need TTL, right here and on, here and on, you got full TTL on every modern DSLR. 300, 250 bucks, use, right working condition all day long. 350, 400 bucks. Great working condition. Forget about it on the SB910 unless someone's a retard and they're selling something really cheap. You're not going to find a deal on a current SB910. They're just too expensive. A new one's 550 bucks. I can produce as fine results with this $30 bastard as you can with this SB910. Does this have a lot more features? A lot more little dinky bullshit? Yeah, do I like the flash? Sure I do. I can produce just as good a results with this little sucker as you can with this $550 SB9. Oh my god, you're full of shit! No, 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 that's not true. Yes, it is true. Word of Gospel. Amen. Yes, I'm telling the truth. May I drop dead. Alright? So, that's the layout of your flashes. 30 bucks, 60 bucks, totally wireless slave right here. Uh, best for the money, full TTL, SB800, SB900, perfectly fine, nothing wrong with it. Unless you're a wedding photographer, it's never going to overheat on you. And it wasn't an overheating issue, it was basically a non-upgradable firmware issue, bullshit, nonsense. The SB910 is basically the same flash. Updated a few of the buttons on the back, basically the exact same flash as the SB900. Alright, I think I've laid it out there for you in short, simple terms. Very simple, very easy, right? Go ahead and buy one of these for 30 bucks, okay? 
with one of the flash cables like I told you about. Don't be intimidated by the back of this thing. Like someone recently just told me, said, I found this in my dad's old flash photography camera bag and I thought it was an old turd until I saw your video and now I'm using it. Great! Awesome! So, trying to save you money. 550 bucks. I could do the same shit, except for some of the la -dee da special effects. You know? High class pretty hooker, normal hooker. Both do the same job. Bad analogy? Yeah, it was. My fault. So sorry. 30 bucks? Nine, uh, 550 bucks. 30 bucks? 550 bucks. I can do the same thing with either one. Don't believe me. Don't care. Because it's the truth. Yeah, a little too much drama. <gasps> so sorry. It's late in the night. My bad. Alright? So... Another video for the Angry Photographer. If you like this video, you can send me a buck or two. You can tell me to go fuck myself. Whatever makes you happy. Trying to save you money. So you're not being misled by people that are trying to pimp out shit and sell their soul. Frono's photo! Yeah, you know jack shit, asshole. It's all about lying in your pocket. That guy has got his hand in so many cookie jars. I'm not going to put him down, although I just got done putting him down, but... I'm actually trying to save you money. Nobody's got their hand in my pocket. Have I asked you for a buck or two? Yeah, sure, fine, so what? You know, you don't have to give me anything. I actually made these videos about saving you a buck. That is really what I care about. It actually makes me happy to think that you got something great for really cheap. Believe it or not, that's the case. Hand to God. Swear it's the truth. Alright, catch you later. Got another video to make. Gotta recharge this battery.